hello students and friends in this video we are going to see a short demo on the determination of lattice uh, fringe width or the d spacing out of your uh, hrtm images for that we are going to use the image j tool uh, first thing i need to open the file here i have the file as 20.jpg and this is what the file i am going to use for the analysis means here you could see some uh, lattice fringes right so this lattice fringe i am going to measure uh, so many methods are available even uh, by calibrating the scale you can uh, draw a straight line and uh, you can uh, you know or uh, you can uh, uh, find out the distance in between lines right but here we are going to see the exact procedure means uh, to determine the d spacing at uh, ultimate resolution okay so first thing once again we have to calibrate the image so for that i am going to take that uh, straight line tool and i am going to uh, magnify the image using using the plus and minus in minus keys now by holding the shift key i am going to draw one straight line over the scale bar now we need to go to analyze and press set scale and here roughly 113 uh, pixels we have selected that 113.33 pixels are 2 nanometer okay that is a known scale that is given in the scale bar so i have now calibrated the image now i am going to unzoom the image and i am going to take the rectangle tool and uh, going to select only the region in which i am going to find out the d spacing okay so now you just go to edit for the image crop so now we have selected only the area in which we are going to determine the d spacing okay so first thing what we have to do is we have to go to analyze i mean process we have to go to fft and we have to press fft right now you will get the fft fast fourier transform image of this particular lattice fringes right so here if you if you can see so many um, uh, fast fourier transformed uh, you know uh, pattern here you can call it as a pattern and here so many spots are there and here you have to select you know i mean uh, simply you can determine the d spacing by measuring the uh, distance in between the you know parallel points from here to here and uh, you just uh, find out the half of the distance and uh, once again find out the reciprocate of the half of the distance okay so that will be the d spacing but here i am going to teach you one more uh, another method means uh, visually visually you can uh, measure the d spacing okay so for that you just go to oval tool and maybe out of this uh, points you can select any points for example i can select this or i can select this you can ask right but you just select the brightest spots using the oval tool and you just go to edit and then press fill now you have masked the masked the area where that particular uh, spot was there right so i mean uh, you can ask me now once again why can't i take this uh, this point or this point or this point like that right so i'll tell you the answer later now you just go to uh, process again go to fft and you just do inverse fft now right now you just see you have the lattice fringes which is somewhat analogous to this okay so here also the lattice fringes are in this you know in this particular angle and here also in the same angle right so if i select any other spots here any other spots here the lattice fringes will not be in this angle okay 
so you have to select the spot such a way that the spot uh, intensity should be somewhat uh, very high compared to all other spots okay now here we are going to measure the lattice uh, fringe width or the d spacing manually okay so before that we have to uh, what is that uh, correct the brightness and contrast of the image so that we can do the analysis very easily for that you just go to image and go to adjust and press brightness and contrast one simple way is you just simply press auto now you just see the automatic uh, automatically the brightness and contrast is applied for that image okay now we all of us know that d spacing is nothing but the perpendicular distance in between the lattices okay so we have to find out the perpendicular distance so i am going to select the angle tool now here maybe i am selecting i am drawing one line from here to here now exactly perpendicular to this line i need to draw one line right you just see now here in the image status bar you can see the angle 91 91.43 like that it is getting increased so it will be somewhat 90 okay very near to at least very near to 90 now 90.27 90.07 90 90.01 right simply press it now you just right click this and uh, do draw okay now a straight line is drawn which is exactly perpendicular to this line okay now very near to this uh, you know perpendicular line to the lattice fringes you just draw one straight line maybe here you just see from zero I mean from the dark i am selecting are exactly at the center of the bright frame i have kept my cursor i am now i am drawing a straight line make sure that the second line what we are drawing now should be perpendicular to the first one okay maybe you can see now both are exactly perpendicular to each other okay so now you can come to know why we have drawn the first line that is a reference reference line to the second line right now you just go to analyze go to and select plot profile now you just see we have the profile of this particular lattice fringes here it is a bright fringe and here it is dark bright dark like that right so roughly we are having maybe the angle is axis option the range so 20.5 so 0 to 20.5 so it's starting from 0 and ending at 20.5 right so now uh, in between the distance of 20.5 nanometer you just what is that uh, count all the peaks okay for example uh, here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 31 32 33 34 35 36 35 37 38 39 40 41 42 43 44 45 46 47 48 49 50 right so now 50 uh, peaks are there 50 lattice fringes are there and here one half and here another half so totally 51 lattice fringes are there right so 51 lattice fringes are there in between 20.5 nanometer now you just open any calculator 
so 51 fringes for 20.5 nanometer so now sorry for 50 20.5 nanometer for 51 fringes so now you get the answer 0 0.401 that is the uh, uh, fringe width of a single uh, lattice spacing okay and this is once again you can say this is the lattice spacing 0 0.401 nanometer otherwise you can say that this is 4.019 nanometer okay so this is what the lattice range so in this way you can exactly predict the lattice fringe width uh, since we are calculating it for you know roughly 51 lines the error will be somewhat uh, much more minimized than any other method of determination of lattice fringes okay thank you for watching